Recently I visited last level games again. Let's see what I picked up this time. Look at the PS2 mini games. He has too many games. <laughs> Hello guys, what appears to many games. Uh, hopefully the start of something uh, reasonably new at the channel. Uh, new schedule that is. Uh, from now on, and I think I mentioned it in the small episode I did, I say episode, the small vid I did from uh, my holiday. From now on episodes will be Thursdays and Sundays. So you'll be getting two episodes a week. With maybe a third episode being on Tuesdays. Uh, we saw in these two days because Dave suggested Sunday. I was like, okay, I'll go with Sunday. And Thursday just had to be like in the middle. So, you understand what I mean? Just basic scheduling. It also gives me some time to actually uh, record things and hopefully get a, get ahead of the curve so we don't actually run out of, uh, not so much run out of content, but we don't get ourselves in a corner, if you understand what I mean. So yeah, hopefully better organization at PS2 Mini Games. Who would have thought? <laughs> this is a bit, a, bit, a bit of a weird recording because I recorded two episodes on two different days but I don't know which one's going to come out first. So, for those who are just curious, you might be hearing the same stuff twice, I'll just go with it. Uh, came back from holiday, uh, very good plot time in Doncaster. Doncaster is a shockingly nice place. Would happily live there. I'm not even joking when I say that. Uh, things went rather well, went to seven CEXs. Yes, count them seven. Uh, <laughs> we did two CEXs in the other episode that I've recorded. That, that would be... Uh, workshop in Retford that'll probably be coming out this Sunday uh, but also obviously CX you will see in the future uh, Scumthorpe, uh, Cataract, Crystal Peaks which is just south of Sheffield, uh, Sutton Saint, oh god Sutton Saint Ashcroft I want to say, bear me a second, Ashfield, <laughs> Sutton Saint Ashfield I've kept all the bags over there so I know actually which games came from which uh, shop it makes a big difference and the last one was Chesterfield, and uh, Chesterfield actually is a shockingly nice place too, so heads up. So that is seven CEXs you'll be seeing in the next month or so. Obviously, after buying Rule of Rose, which costs a lot, reasonably a lot of money, and this, uh, I won't be doing any kind of shopping for another month because I've got so much to go through, and I need to recover my finances. <laughs> well, I have three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? But today's episode was a visit to Last Level Games. There was no footage for this, and the main reason there was no footage for this is because uh, Last Level Games, they're very nice people, they received a substantially large uh, delivery of old like PCs, like Omegas, Omegas, that kind of stuff, but amazing stuff, and I didn't want to film while they were organising it because there was stuff everywhere, and I didn't want to make the store look, like, not so much bad, but I didn't want to make the store... Yeah, I couldn't film, let's put it that way. <laughs> and I respect that, I really do respect that. But you've seen Last Little Games quite a few times, so you roughly know what it's like. Very good independent store, my favourite independent game store I go to, local. I always find something there that I don't own. And I can't say that I can't say that for any other store I go to, to be honest. I go there maybe once a month if I'm lucky, and every time I go there, there's always something that I need. And actually, rarer, rarer games, really. Anyway, we picked up three games from the last level. We'll go through them shortly. But uh, let's just go through the what's coming up on the channel. So Thursdays will be not so much the smaller episodes, but they'll be like more mainstream episodes. So this, there'll be some CX roulette, CX, oh, good Lord, r r r remix. <laughs> CX roulettes will be a thing. I'm going to try to do two a month, every once every two weeks. So it'll be on Thursdays. Uh, so... As you know, me and Dave share editing duties on this channel. Dave will be responsible for Sunday episodes. I will take care of Thursday episodes. So Dave will get like the main events while I will get like the side episodes because Dave's a far better editor than this man is. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that. And obviously it goes without saying, but I will say it, shaved. <laughs> uh, I look so much younger when I shave. And I was really starting to get quite the hobo beard. Let's give a friendly welcome to this new robo. What did you call me? A robo, you know, a robot hobo. Oh, okay, I thought you said Romo. So it was time. And uh, very soon I'll be shaving my whole head off, so I'll be going bald to see how it looks, because you obviously know I'm going, I'm slowly losing my hair. I mean, it's somewhat obvious. So I want to see if I actually like looking bald. 
And if I do, I will probably keep it. But for now, I'm just going to roll with this because, as you can see, quite the hair loss has happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just, that's just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> that's just the way it is. Uh, purchases wise, uh, I will probably be more focusing on getting more like, well, I need to get some IKEA shelves for then going back to the old games room because. I want to rebuild it, make it better, stronger, faster. <laughs> uh, yes, that's probably going to be where I'm going to spend some money this month. Not so much on games, because I've bought a lot in the last month. And this channel is doing rather well for game find, but I really want to actually make the room better. I mean, this has served its purpose. This was the original games room, but it's still... Yeah. And I've been told by many other collectors that IKEA shelves, especially the Billy shelves, and hilariously they call Billy. Uh, they're probably the way to go. So I'm going to take their information and go with it. <laughs> At the moment, I must be honest, I'm now starting to like also look for like controllers at the same time. Uh, different colour controllers, obviously. Uh, I probably mentioned the episode, I'm going to mention it again. So obviously I've got the basic ones, I've got the black one, I've got the uh, satin one, pink one, and obviously the blue one. But uh, I like to get the like, standalone controllers, like the red one, the like yellowish one, all the colours of the rainbow. You know, You know what I mean? Uh, because I'm going to either build my own controller stands or buy some, because I know I can buy some, and I want to display them, like, go for display, make the games room actually look awesome, rather than as a place where I just shove all the games in one place. That was such a terrible sentence, but screw it, we're going with it. <laughs> Me no speak of the English. Also, there will be, like, a couple, of, I need to do a couple of things, because, uh, I want, I've got to do another top 10 games I'm looking for at the moment because there are certain games I've been looking for for some time and I just can't find them so I'm going to ask for help on those and every time I've asked for help finding games I've generally found them as like 3 or 4 weeks because people are generously very helpful and not even expensive games now we're talking about like obscure like reasonably cheap games and at the same time with the CX roulettes which I will start doing it goes out saying there won't be the rarities here because obviously we know they've got a manual or they haven't got a manual so it'll be games between 20 and 40 pounds because they've still got the old system so you don't know what's going to turn up you don't know it's going to be the right game and that is actually truly a roulette <laughs> everybody got that on another very small side note some people have noticed and i do speak rather quickly uh that's just the way of that's just how i speak uh, i try to slow down sometimes but when i'm actually going full hog i'm speaking so fast you can't understand a word i am saying <laughs> which is not good for YouTube. And it's been pointed out a couple of times. Uh, I try to do this on one and done. There's no like skip, there's no like script or anything. This is just ab-libbing. And sometimes I'm getting going full hog because on the roll, I always get faster and faster and faster. Gotta go fast. <laughs> so if anyone finds that annoying, I do apologize. I'm gonna try and address that. So I'm gonna try and slow it down. But sometimes I forget. And when I actually do my own editing, I cringe at how fast I'm going with my speech. So yes, I apologize for that. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna throw a commercial right now and uh, we will come back with the free games on the last level. I will see you on the other side, guys. Subject A, good hedgehog. Subject B, evil hedgehog. Introducing Shadow from Sonic Adventure 2. Now you can choose to be Sonic the Good Hedgehog and try to save the world. Or Shadow the Evil Hedgehog and conquer it. What kind of hedgehog are you? <laughs> Rated E for everyone, only on Dreamcast. And welcome back. Uh, some people also, before we go any further, because <sighs> I like having like very like faint but background music when I do my own like, editing. Some people don't like that and some people do like that, so it's going to be 50-50. The reason I do that, I always chill, choose chill music, and uh, uh, obviously the one of the last episodes I told you what I'm using lately, and it's so chill, it's unreal. With Dave, he doesn't use music, and the main, main reason for that was because, uh, for Dave, I'm understanding copyright strikes. <laughs> Half the videos on this channel now we can't monetize because the music in the past has suddenly had a copyright strike on it. Uh, that's absolutely true. Nothing in the last two to three months has been, stroke, has been copyright striked. But in the, like the last year, like every like once a week, you'll get a, a message saying this video can no longer be monetized because uh, this music that was okay for those twelve months is no longer okay. It's like, yeah. <laughs> 
So that's the main reason we don't use that much music in the background for most of our vids anymore. I have found certain music tunes, like old school game music that they don't care about, obscure stuff, but mostly Sega. Sega do not care. And that's why you'll hear, be hearing quite a lot of Sega in the future. Coincidentally, that's why you would hear a lot of uh, like Sonic tunes lately. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> I actually sing a lot better than that, by the way. I'm just, I just thought I'd throw it in there. <sighs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Anyway, let's just get through the three games I managed to pick up from the last level games. Uh, first one, Corvette. Uh, this is one of those titles you would have thought would be quite easy to find. It hasn't been because I haven't found it yet, but found it at last level game, so very happy to pay it. Probably, I don't mind paying like the odd pound more for than CX because once I find a game, I just snatch that that like, you would not believe. So it was a win. Uh, as you can imagine, this game was about Corvettes. Shocking, I know. <laughs> Uh, I like racing games. I probably will try this to see if any good. Uh, there was a like a on the N64. There was a Lamborghini game, and it's aged like milk. But it's one of the first games I ever bought on the N64, and I've still got it. But I tried it last week for the first time in lockdown. It's, it's a terrible game. <laughs> if I remember the name of it, I will spice it in. But yeah, it's one of the. It's a terrible game. Mm. So anyway, I'm sure this will play well. We'll try it. Game number two, Monster Jam. So as you can imagine, this is monster trucks and monster truck racing and monster trucks smashing everything. It's everything you want in monster trucks. Made by Activision, so maybe made well? Uh, I'm going to hope so, because I'm going to try it. Uh, once again, £5 pay, as you see. Uh, there's a lot of games to start with monster. This is one of them. By the way, you can see me. Hello, me. Uh, <laughs> uh, one day I'll get like a free camera setup system. You will never see my reflection, but... These games are shiny. <laughs> anyway, uh, very happy to have this. Now, if I were paid, uh, that would be go to the pile. But by the way, what I mean by the pile is I, I wait until I have at least like 40 games I need to file before I actually file them. I like doing it all in one go. It will take me a good hour to do so, but. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll show you. Like, it's like top shelf, right? Top shelf, immaculate. You try to get one game on the side there, there's no gap. That ain't happening. <laughs> so, I had to like. I had to either go from A that way to file them, or I had to start from Z, make more room to file them. It takes bloody ages. That's what I get for being alphabetical order nutcase. <laughs> yeah, honestly, as you can imagine, filing things correctly is a pisser. <laughs> what a pisser. Now, the last game is a game I actually paid a good amount of money for, £30 to be perfectly honest. It's a game I would never have bought if I wasn't collecting everything. Uh, it's a game that is anti what I believe in. Uh, I don't want to offend anyone's opinions, but I don't believe in this at all. But there you go. Uh, it's time to bless up, people, for we now own the Bible game. And I'm sure it is a good game. <laughs> a game that teaches the word of Christ. <laughs> oh my god. I am an atheist, I will always be an atheist. I respect people's beliefs and what they believe in. But I would never believe in any kind of religion of any kind. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, it's actually hilarious. This game cost me thirty pounds. If you were to look, different countries it cost a lot more money. Ireland, this costs significantly more in Ireland because obviously Ireland is a much more religious country than Great Britain is. Great Britain, when it comes to religion, is actually not that religious when it comes to Christianity. Uh, people say they're Christian, but they no one actually goes to church. It's one of the least religious countries on the planet, I firmly believe. Especially in Europe. Uh, don't, know what, don't know what that says about our, social, our society. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not going to say that. But it's just a fact. I would suggest that... Because we are every every five years in Britain, there's a census, so you had to tell them things. And the amount of people who actually just put Jedi is hilarious. <laughs> but people who don't want to offend anyone, they won't say atheist, they'll say Christian, because no one, no one questions Christianity. Uh, but I am an atheist and I will be. Anyway, yeah. Once again, I respect your beliefs. I respect everything you do. Just religion's not for this man. And I would have never bought this game if it wasn't for the collection. I'll be perfectly honest. It's a 5 by 5 game, so I'm sure it was, it was uh, made very well. That's just the way it is. <laughs> and I'm not splicing that twice. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> Please comment, like, and subscribe.
that's a terrible se segue, but we roll of it, roll of it. So next episode Sunday will be Retford and uh, Workshop CEX. Next Thursday, depending on postage, which is always a bit interesting, will be a CEX roulette. Uh, then we'll just keep going forth and back and forth. Uh, I need to do another like price comparisons from CEX. I don't want to find those for some time. So there's a lot of stuff I need to do. But two episodes a week, we should get through some of stuff. So uh, there we go. Again, I was speaking very, very quickly. I didn't, didn't need to. <laughs> God, I'm merely dying now. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.